na mag skirmish every time. So that's why probably we felt na they can engage and disengage anytime they so wish. Yeah. Para meron silang choice kailan sila pumunta sa laban, kailan sila mabalik. And that's the idea for Axe Scarf Mage. Berserker's Call, for example, low cooldown initiation. Uh -huh. Yung Blake, low cooldown. Yung ultimate is Scarf Mage, definitely low, low cooldown, cooldown as yeah. well. Tapos syempre, meron pa siyang spamable skills like you have Silence, meron kang concussive shot, and meron ka pang Arcade Bolt and Rubik to top it off. Yeah. What do you think about this Rubik pick here? I mean, is that to counteract the the, uh, the Omni Knight to be able to use that on his own? I mean, uh, not not really, not really. So, the, the idea is, kuha ka ng uh, uh, isang easy stun for the setup for his Karat Mage, yeah. for example. Tapos meron kang... Uh, potential na gawin yung, yung ano, uh, if you don't know is yung null field ni Rubik yeah. is uh, prevents magic damage output eh pag tinagal niya yun is pwede niya gawin siya offensively and if you just look at this Karth Mage Janakopter so much magic damage yeah. at the start of the game big sabihin lang niya ang dali nila mag burst on sa early on and it looks like yun nga as you said as we said earlier Alpha Red looks to continue that um, pattern of controlling the team fights and ito naman sila eh. so mukhang alpha red wants to get, be getting those clashes wants to be getting those um big team fight areas kasi alam nilang kaya nilang i-control yung signify lamang sila pagdating sa team fight i don't know whether it's in terms of skill or just as a team itself pero lagi silang nananalo sa team fight against signify except for sometimes na nakaka-pull through yung signify and pero the thing is Bihira lang yun eh. Bihira lang manalo ng team fight yung Signify over Alpharet. Oh. That's a Death Prophet ban by Alpharet. Signify, ano ka nilang pwedeng kunin dito last, the last ban. Maybe Lina, kasi hindi sila masyadong, uh, you know, may rap siyang control with the Terror Blade. Yeah. That's a classic counter. Yeah, but they need physical damage, I think. Physical That's, damage? Yeah, maybe. Oh, I think OD pwede rin mameret sa ban mula sa Signify. It's great versus... Uh, Omni Knight's GA, because GA 100% uh, physical resistance, something like that. Eh, pure damage, yung arcane orb, so goes through DK. Yung lang pili ni Go for the Wind Ranger. Ranger. Ooh. So mukang, yeah, that's a really interesting pick. I guess they're gonna go for picks and push, maybe. Uh, classic combination yung Wind Ranger Slarder. I mean before, because mayroon ka focus fire na physical damage. Tapos pag mayroon ka rosy skin yeah. na Tumata corrosive haze, I mean. Yeah. And nagtatanggal ng, ng armor for sure. Sobrang sakit ng focus fire. Yeah, and combined with the stun, you can get stun locked habang dun burst ka. Yeah, that, that's a really scary pick uh, combination to be going against here. But, that, you know, so sobrang, I think they're gonna go for picks here. Sa tingin ko, ah. And, uh, you know what? I'm not sure what to make of this uh Current lineup of Signify. What do you think of their? Yeah, again, uh, more about pickoffs. Meron silang just look at their four man squad: Wind Ranger, Omni Knight, Slardar, Shadow Demon. Surely, na pagalak sila sa early game. But surely, at kaya nilang a match. Kaya nang match yung Axe, kaya nang match aggression. Kaya nilang lumabay. And then you'll have the Terror Blade just farming around. Mag uh, hindi naman necessarily abot sa late game, pero maka ano eh, maka siya ng mga tower pushes for team. For yeah. example, mag uh, mag four man gang squad dito signify five man gang so na alpha red surely terrible map of split push around jan and maybe even invade the jungle dito ng signify uh let's see for alpha red i'm thinking lina and outworld devourer para sa dinas star spirit even pwedeng napilit more well, fling for more fling oh ano kaya balak nila sa more fling na to ano so uh yeah the idea is pwedeng mo na uh, gayahin yung terror blade so that you have the metamorphosis then mas sakit yung damage mo tapos meron ka pang reflection pwede mo na kayahin yung gyrocopter mo mismo uh, I'm not really, I'm not entirely sure how this matches up versus uh, something yung Omni Knight for sure I, oh. I just wanted to point out ang ganda talaga ng skin ng Terror Blade <laughs> <That's right. laughs> napaka napaka anga si para siyang ano eh Voltes 5 na <laughs> something yeah yeah Fu. so uh, I don't know about so, and I'm major na off out of summer fling to be yeah. honest. I think it's somehow greedy to my taste. You uh, think it, they should have went for a more conservative pick, a little bit more, you know, a little bit more to you know stop the terror blade per se. Because the idea for terror blade is, uh, kaya mo siya talunin sa late game. Yeah. 
Kaya mo siyang i-out time sa late game dahil sa metamorphosis timings. But, during the mid game sa mga pushes, can have to match yung kanilang aggression. Yeah. So, parang maalap ka dito ng push on your own. Or, contest mo yung push nila. I don't think the Morphling allows that to happen. Kasi, I think with Morphling is... It's not a fighter mid yeah. game. So, maybe maybe what they're ko. going for is like a confidence play. Kasi, I mean, they did just steamroll in the late game. So, okay. baka they're going for something... You know, confidence play something which they feel confident in using, something that they're you know they're known to be good at. But at the oh, same time, okay. as this is happening, Rubik is now gonna be dead. He's yeah. just gonna be trapped. I think. I don't know if there's any way for him to get out. He's already getting super low, tagged up by the auto attacks, and he's just one HP left. Yeah, and then that's gonna be the first kill. Nice early pick to find. Good stuff there for Signify, taking matters into their own hands. I mean, I, I mean, what we did want to say ngapala kanina is. Signify cannot wait anymore for Alpha Red. Na mauna yung Alpha Red, mauna mag-engage. Kaya ngayon siguro bumabawi sila isip nila, okay, tayo naman ang gagawa. Tayo naman ang magsiset ng pace ng match na to. And that's, I think, what they need to do. Well, it's um, gonna favor. Parang mas madaling i-execute dito yung line of the Signify. Kunwari, may, uh, may gank dito sa mid. For example, may Shadow Demon with the Disruption. Ang daling setup niya para sa Power Shot or Shackles. Which means na yung uh, with Ranger dito, He's gonna have a fairly good time dito sa ating labans. Matala, it's Negi on the Omni Knight. He's chasing really far. Exactly. Interesting. So, parang kasi magkakaroon ng shift dito. I mean, no, Negi knowing na... I mean, Signify in general, knowing na magkakaroon ng aggressive lane sa baba with Skyrat, Mage plus the Axe. Yeah, but Ayaw nilang ilagay doon yung Terror Blade. Um, as the, as this, is, this is happening, the body block is gonna be coming okay. out. Terror Blade looking to trade that aggression okay. to make him punish for it. And he's still body blocking him for like so long. Can they even oh, get close man. enough to him? I don't know if they can. It looks like they'll finally back off. And ayun na nga. Oh, man. back na sila. Pero ang tagay nila yung binabody block yun. That is really weird for my taste. But, you know, they wasted so much na time no nga ting uh, terror blade let's just look at this 4-0 na agad yung morphling while no si blizzard dito will only get one creep oh, for himself very low dito yung mage low in mana oh. as well but i think he gets out and pwede na lang siya umuwi dito and then tp back and continue to apply the pressure interestingly dito is alpha shifted the lanes na nandun yung sky nandun yung axe sa top not gonna come with the scart mage this time so offensive trial for alpha red I'm not saying I'm not. I'm not saying I disagree with it, but I think it's uh, it's decent versus. It's not the, the strength, I think, of uh, that uh, that those combos, those heroes. I think I agree with okay. you. Okay. Um, I think with what you said, we s did see how much uh, damage that axe did bring to the bottom lane area. Yeah. Ang daming ang engagement sa bottom kanina. That was a really thing. I think a really nice idea. But as this is going on, the harassment is so painful right now. The rocket barrage earlier on. It, it does a lot of damage early game as we mentioned but nothing to sweat about nothing to worry ourselves with yeah. oh again this is uh swifty's lane 10 to 2 9 to 2 naman by the gyrocopter hindi naman ganun ka one side din yung ating mid lane matchup kasi again like you mentioned merong haras din yung gyro pero meron din naman yung isang uh, uh, isang wind ranger. Yeah, yung power shot mo tatama yun. That's true. Ma That's masakit true. yun eh. He just needs to land them consistently. Uh, tapos mabupush back talaga yung uh, gyrocopter. Oh man. Magbabay na naman tayo dito sa habulan ng lanes. As yung terror blade pumunta dun sa top. Yung kasama yung dual Ooh. supports niya. Ganon din ginawa dito ng morphling. Gustong gusto nila tapatan yung terror blade. And as much as they can control itong terror blade sa may top lane. I think that they should be successful with this kasi... Otherwise, may hirapan yung morphling in terms of levels and in terms of farm. Kung lagi sila nag-commit sa top, pero uh, hindi nila nakuha yung mga kills. Let me know of, uh, I have an opinion. Let, okay. me, let me know if what, what you think. Okay. Pahirapan tong top lane para sa signify for one reason. Okay. Puro melee sila, tsaka range Ooh. yung sa alpha red. And they can just keep harassing. Kasi napakalakas ng poke eh. Tira mo yung poke ng uh, Skywrath Mage and the poke of Morphling. Meanwhile, yeah. Terror Blade will struggle to even get uh, CS unless supported correctly. That's, you know, so, um, people will say na medyo yun nga, basic yung gano'ng argument. But I think it's more than legit. Sobrang layo 
Sobrang laking difference yeah. ng pagiging range mo versus a couple of melee heroes. And sa laning stage, surely ang laking advantage yun. So yes, I agree with you. And uh, bukod pa doon, eh, meron pang additional na one-up yung alpha kasi meron silang magic damage mula sa Scarf Mage yeah. and Fade poke. Bolt. And yeah, yeah, they have the poke, the mm -hmm. consistent poke. Kaya feeling ko mahirapan talaga yung signify dito sa lane na to. But as this is going on, it looks like Slardar is gonna be trying to chase into the Morphlame. Don't think he's gonna find him though. Not sure if they found the tower dive, but the teleport will come out to help him. And I think it'll just gonna stabilize right now. Parang mukitchi lang muna sila dito. Mag muna masyado mainit. 1 0 palang naman ang scoreline dito. And funny thing, actually, yung gold advantage na sa alpha red. But we can see that change like really, really soon here. Yeah, this is because of the, of the axe. Na, yung tamin ginagawa niya is, not only na kuwa niya yung isang, wave, isang full wave of creeps. Yeah. Na hatak pa niya yung creeps na yun papunta na dun sa neutral creeps. Mm -hmm. Which means na meron siyang bonus damage, bonus gold na nakukuha. And syempre, that translates to more gold in favor of Alfred in general. So this axe is definitely gonna have the best time of his life. If there's the one good axe game, ito na yata with the main here, still CT5, but ito there's a setup. Ay, ito na nga yung engagement as we were looking for. Terrorblade will fall immediately. He's been ch chained up by those stuns all game. Long as the p poke is still raining through right there. Morphling will finally get a kill of his own. That's two for nothing. That's a double kill right now. Signify looking really, really good in that team fight. That's exactly what they needed to do. I mean, we mentioned earlier that the the advantage will be with Alpha Red um, for that lane. But you know, the poke is doing so much damage. But somehow, you know, Morphling is showing up on that team fight, knowing exactly what to do, when to do it. That's definitely what won them the team fight. Because before they engage, napaka low na nila dahil sa poke. And if you're in that lane. If you're Signify, um, you have to either fight or just give up so much. And they chose to fight, kasi lang natalo sila. And this is now a uh, big. Uh, kung kanina malaking problema ni Axe, even bigger ngayon. Meron na siyang Vanguard dito sa my offline. Oh God. Really raining. I mean, five minutes of Vanguard. How can you. How can You're gonna have a bad time. And as I say this, wow, Omni Knight will get Morphling down super low, but it's not enough to finish off the job. And it looks like the lane will stabilize here. Dog brain is gonna be pursued though. <laughs> Man, it's so hard to deal with a Omni Knight like that. But as this is going on, the axe is already just free raining terror down on bottom lane and it doesn't look like he's stopping anytime soon. Finally, Skyrath Mage is there to support him out. Will the slow come out? I don't think he's in range for it, but they're gonna be pursuing him well deep into the tree line. Slardar is already low and it looks like he's gonna be taking even more damage as he tries to run and do the tango around the tower area. But the burst is still there and the poke is still raining through. Ooh. And finally, the ultimate will come out to finish off the job, but it looks like he's not done just yet. Still chasing down the Terror Blade. I don't think they're gonna pursue him. Uh, they they oh, will. Oh, the Berserker's Call will finish off the job. The teleport will come out. Slardar is there for the action, but is he prepared? Is he prepared to face this? No, he gets stunned. Can they keep going with this? Oh my god, it doesn't look like he's stopping because he's taking all the tower damage and he doesn't even care. As we mentioned, he does have that Vanguard. You know, Vanguard and Oh, so this finally, three people. It looks like finally he's going to fall right here. But no, he's just going to back away. The teleport took too long to come oh in. My goodness. And at, at a certain point, no, sa unang laban ko sa nabatay niya yung Disruptor, 1v3 yun. Yeah. Ganun na siya kalakas. And even better, it signify na masyado silang gustong lumaban sa Axe. And it's not going to end well for them. And it didn't. So, yun yung nangyayari, 5 to 1. Eventually, Alfred na feed pa sila ng mga ganun I mean, surely na patayin sila ng isang Morphling sa top, but that's no problem at all. It's a third pa rin siya in terms of net worth. In, parang, it's as if nothing happened yeah. para sa Alfred. Uh -oh. in, the thing kasi is, um, with that axe and he is that vanguard so early on better hold that thought right now we're gonna be going into another engagement call down he's gonna be coming out. Will Shadow Demon survive here? It doesn't look very good for him. Slowly he's gonna be fall, but Oh, it's gonna be the kill. Yeah, he's gonna take that into Gyrocopter still though. They're pursuing into the trees. They're pursuing into the jungle, but I don't think they have the damage to follow up on this Rubik still chasing, but he gets stunned right now and the teleport is gonna come out. No, he's not gonna get away. It's Skyrath oh, made to follow, but the power shot is gonna land. My goodness, eto yung masasabi ko na outplayed yung Alpha Red. Sabi nyo natin, meron silang advantage, surely. Maganda yung kanilang initiations. Nag-smoke sila, good heads of play, pero definitely that was a big outplay mula kay Swifty. Una una sa lati power shots niya su sulit na sulit. Uh -oh. Tumama dun sa gyrocopter for the counter for the turn around mula dun sa log na tumaatake siya. Nakakuha siya ng kill doon sa skirmish and yun nga. Sabi mo sa huli, saktong sakto pinana parang sinuka. Oh, grabe ang sakit naman ng damage ng Omni Knight na yan. <laughs> That's, That's more than half. 
<laughs> Beautification. Beautification is nuts. Yeah. And it's so, ito kasi yung, uh, one of the things I wanted to mention, it's so annoying to lane against an Omni. Definitely. Because he's gonna slow you, he's gonna heal. It's annoying. Like, and sorry, going back to an earlier point with Axe, the bottom lane. You, what you you can either do two things. You can try to gank him or let him get flat and out of control or you can just Four leave him. Members, be. grabe. Shackle. This is an easy kill para Mistrado unless meron merong axe actually surviving through it all. That's on attribute shift and he survives power shot hindi tama. So they're still trying to chase. And it looks like they're still going to go for this axe is right now caught in between three other members. Nice berserker's call to draw in the Omni Knight into the tower, but I don't think they have the damage to finish him off and it doesn't look like it's going to continue the engagement. They're going to fall back and that's going to be uh, you know, nothing gained, nothing too much. Putin lang na may backup don para sa top lane. Four six. Yeah. You, you know, uh, interesting na apat members yung kinobit na signify tapos like three members of alpha. So all in all, na apang free farm yung ating uh, gyrocopter, the scarab mage. Eh, na ako rin ng farm sa baba with experience as well. But this could be a good counter. My soul catcher. Oh, call down. Yeah, call down used and fearless. Yeah, he's gonna be getting away just fine, Scott Free. And that's the thing we mentioned about Gyrocopter. We've said it so many times before. He is a strong independent carry that doesn't <laughs> need any support. Ako unat din yun. Chaka ang dami yung ang ganda ng kit niya for this type of this type of engagement, even though mid game. Kaya ti gang siya o kaya lang siya. Kasi ang daling magcall down, ang daling magano homing missile. Tapos wala alis ka. Para siya ane. Having a defense. By being offensive. Uh oh. <laughs> I, I, yeah. The <laughs> best offense, is a, the best defense is a great offense. <laughs> That's, that might be the the, uh, the exact opposite of the saying, but <laughs> I agree with you. At this specific moment, mong yun nga yung kit nga na may nabere yung Jairo Kapta. Kami ti call down para mang zone out again para ni makabal. It's more than enough. Even if you pursue through that call down, ang lakas pa rin ng damage niya. Kasi pag chinase mo talaga yung gyrocopter niya, ang daming damage eh. Rocket barrage, homing missile, plus the call down. Dude, yeah. you're gonna flak cannon pa. Yeah. You know, so it's nearly impossible to chase a uh, gyrocopter unless you've, you're properly equipped for it. Kung you know, may tama kang items, kung may tama kang setup, saka kung may tama kang levels against yeah. him or something like that. But they don't have that right now for Signify. So Signify needs to find something somewhere else. Kailangan siguro nilang tumingin sa top lane or sa bottom lane para makakuha ng advantage sa... Uh, so gap. So, well, let's see. Uh, as fearless, hindi siya concerned. I mean, hindi siya pa siya super concerned na makakuha dito ng kills or engagements for his team. Normally, Zoro Raptors nagtitip yan sa lanes. Uh, I mean, for other lanes. Except that's a pinag start niya para rumes po sa mga And it looks like it's gonna be another dive here. Morphling is gonna be caught out. He might be stunned, but no, he's gonna waveform right out. And that's a nice escape right there, just juking and diving and weaving, ducking and weaving through the tower. But it looks like the engagement is still going to be continued. I don't know. It doesn't look like they're going to commit to it. But now four members right here, four Signify, are going to be ganking to the Morphling. They want him. They want his blood. They want to shut him down right now. We'll see if they're able to do that. Pero mukhang may TP na ngayon. Lalabas para dito sa Alpha Red. Para tumulong dito sa Morphling na natrap ngayon dito sa likod ng Puno. Sa mga Puno, siya tumatago. Para siyang Capre. Tignan natin kung magsusurvive siya. And the slow is gonna finally come out. And they actually do catch off that Shadow Demon. Nice pick right there. The Berserker's Call as well. The Teleport as well will follow up to get that Omni Knight into safety. Eventually, Signify pa rin ako. I mean, nice positioning. Mula doon sa Morphling. And, you know, ito po sabi ko isa sa mga pinakadisciplined na Morphling. Normally, Morphling, sa baba nung AJ nila, ay baba nung strike nila every time. Right mixture, actually, si Morphling na nasa gitna with 1.1k health. Kaya hindi rin siya ma- Initiator ng Signify say they don't really know if they have enough to actually deal with him and easily makapag counter kasi yung alpha kaya hindi nila siya nagoo. So ano nga ba yung flavor na gusto mo sa Morphling mo? Gusto mo ba ng strength flavor sa sa you know Aji? I mean how do you like to build your Morphling? I mean kaasabi ko lang ng ng right mix pero I would say ako I will contradict myself mas gusto ko yung you know something a little bit of the edge exciting what Aji man tama tama ano man I mean magmorphling ka na ngay but like this oh the power shot ang ganda nons ni Nipe siya para siyang isang AWB player but the Berserker Skull is looking to follow up on this so much damage coming out and it looks like they're gonna be chasing him right now Slarder gets a nice stun in trying to back away but the nice, oh, that's gonna be a nice power shot to bring him down super duper low. They're gonna be chasing him, does not get the finishing blow, however, and now it is the Skywrath Mage looking to escape. Will they still chase him out? The power shot will Ooh. almost land! No, it does not. 
Sayang yun, but he's still gonna be chased. They know exactly where he is. So ang dali nitong habulin, his life will be taken away. But the gyrocopter, the call down is gonna be there. Para tulungan yung kakampi niya, pero hindi. Uh, Magbaback off na lang yung signify. Ay, yeah, tama, yung signify. At saka yung alpha red. You, you know, that was another big outlay sa winner. Just, this is now looking to be the reason kung bakit sila pinili yung winner dyan para 50. Seems like si 50... This is their comfort pick, it seems. Sobrang ang daming bases nilang na-outplay. Even yung mga slightest distance para makite yung axe that was enough. Mga save nila dito with the Shadow Demon combination with the power shot. How they set up the kills para dito sa Wind Ranger natin is flawless mula sa Signify, I would say. Actually, ang ganda nga ng... And I, more than this, the, I mean, as you said, the skill is there, the team play is there, pero I'd like to point out that how much mechanical skill, how much... How good you have to be on Wind Ranger to land those crazy power shots. Exactly. Right? So, you know, building on what you said, if you have the team play, if you have the ability to land those crazy power shots, then sobrang solid nun. You're gonna be happy if you are signify. Pero as this is going on, just a little teleport out there in the bottom lane. I mean, the Omni Knight saw through it all. I mean, there's no way ang isang Rubik ay naglalaboy ng ganyan na walang, na hindi paint. I mean, that was more than obvious. Medyo to. <laughs> That's why yung Omni Knight just really just take it out. Okay. Saka lang, may, may Rubik dito na mag-isa. I don't think they're chilling. Pero ang ganda ng war dito, tignan natin how this do is they, going to play. Did they actually reach it? So, Par ayun, okay. kita nga, sayang. So, I think na medyo... Signify are kind of baiting around because uh -oh. parang nandun sila nag-stay kaya hindi nila pinatay agad uh -oh. despite them having the center war right there so, but they eventually gave up on the the bait the idea uh -oh. <laughs> siguro, siguro inisip nila may darating to pero yep. it doesn't look like it's gonna happen today Arcane Rune is available let's see if they decide to take it it looks like Shadow Demon will actually claim it in the end and oh, might be a gap here in middle lane you know, uh, yeah and that's gonna be oh everybody is TPing in now right Oh. As this is happening, call down will come out. How many people will it get? But as this is happening, signifies Swifty does get the kill on the Gyrocopter, but it's traded out immediately. Slark will fall as well, so it's a one-to-one -one trade so far. And it looks like that's gonna be it for the engagement. Okay, lang man, nice trade here. That was more than nice for me. Because Gyrocopter is not And I nakita ko na naman, my goodness. This Wind Ranger really outplaying Alfred. I don't have to comment the Shadow Demon, then, but TP out, Malaki yeah. Negi. He doesn't care. <laughs> okay, bye. TP sa face. N nice, ano? Nice to see you. Sige, ingat. Luna na ako. Oh my goodness, it lands. Ang ganda ng shackle shot na yun. So, well, they will actually give up with the game. Wala silang power. Wala silang focus fire. Oh, wala nisang damage. Uh. Ginamit niya yung focus fire dun sa gyrocopter sa mid lane. Kaya siguro bibigay nila nito. Yung Wind Ranger talaga ang lakas mag-farm, no? Pag, uh, pag tama. And that's when, when it starts right, I guess. Mm, oh. Yeah, and I think looking at how it's going right now, napaka star ngayon ng Wind Ranger. Alam na niya talaga kung kailan magagang, kung, kung kailan dapat mag rotate. Ang ganda ng ano eh, ang ganda niya ng presence niya across the map. So, kung may gang sa top, actually nandun siya. Kung may mid sa gang, kandun siya. So, napaka ganda ng positional awareness ng game sense dito para kay Wind Ranger. So 7.6k net worth lead for net worth overall para dito sa ating Wind Ranger. But overall, mo ang alpha red pa rin ng masaya dito para ring uh, illustrado. Again, doesn't matter if you get kills. Oh. What what matters the farm as they easily delete the Shadow Demon na yun. Na, na alt F4 yata yung <laughs> ano eh, yung Shadow Demon dito and that's the map control, the ward control that we were talking about earlier. Uh, they they actually didn't have actually may wards eh so siguro umikot lang yung ano umikot lang yung skyrath at saka yung axe overall um yun nga what i was saying kanina mas mayaman pa rin yung alpha red kasi yung kanila mga cores much better in farm like if you see itong morphling and yung gyrocopter nasa top pa rin naman sila i mean yung morphling 7.5k Tapos mas mayaman ng slightly lang naman yung terror blade dito. So overall, masaya pa rin talaga dito ng may na may lead ang Alpha Red. Yeah. So I think right now, Alpha Red, despite the fact that, actually, despite the fact that uh, Signify looks like they're winning, Alpha Red, pumapa, uh, lumal and lumalaban pa rin sila, they, they are actually winning. Despite yeah. uh, Signify looking like they're winning every engagement, looking like they're winning, you know, um, every other skirmish. But the thing is, the way that Alpha Red is microwing this game, yeah. the way that 
they're controlling the lanes, the way that they're getting map control, it looks better for Alpha Red. Very much so. It's just, you know, I think mga nasabi natin sa mga, mga, you know, pa, pag naglalaro yung sa pub matches, guys, it's very hard to do, yes. Ma napaka da daling mag-isip na down kayo ng kills na may malakas sa kalaban, tapos hindi na lang kayo mag-farm. You actually have to prioritize farming. Oh, farm harder. Farm harder, ganun lang naman. Katuloy to, more fling. Sobrang na pressure siya, dami niyang best na matay. Pero siya pa rin yung mayaman, overall. Oh, actually, that's really... They've been diving this yeah. more fling time and time again na... Uh, yun nga, nagalit siguro siya. <laughs> Jackal oh. muna ako, magpa-farm muna ako dito. But the smoke gank is Naku here. Po. It looks like Terrorblade is about to get caught off. Homing missile will find its way. And they're gonna be chasing him deep into the jungle. I don't think he's long for this world. Yes, the Berserker's <laughs> Fall, as well as the ulti there from Skywrath Mage, will take down that... Uh, yeah, take him down super Fair duper bit. fast. Okay. And it looks like the call down is here as well. The trade potential is here. Rubik will fall as well. They're gonna no. be chased. Oh, Ooh, no. nice Guardian Angel to deny any more kills. But Swifty is gonna get another kill as he looks. Nice shackle to land right there. Power shot will come true. The damage is there. Can they find him though? They're gonna be chasing him so deep. Blade Mail will come through. Come through. And yeah, that's another nice kill there. So. Everything oh, going signifies way, but he almost finds him in the trees, but no. He doesn't have the mana anyways, but since he's later and crashed. Maybe he won't go for the first hit bash, but uh, survives. So, I think Alfred found the best target possible there, Blade. Problem is they overstayed. Oh. I think yung Rubik kill, yun na dapat yun. They should have cut their losses. Guys, ito na naman tayo sa ating mga problems. Sa mga... Sa Sari Station Pops, ito man sabi ko. Kapag, greedy. Hindi na siya greedy. Parang, pag meron isang mamamatay na tropa, parang, napapisip ka, do I have to save him? Yeah. You don't. You don't have to. Cut your losses, guys. Yeah. Wag mo na to mami pa yung mga kills yo. Don't try to turn it around, kasi again. And off, were, of, and off of the back punch. of that play, as you mentioned, because they did not cut their losses, yung nang yare, na watulin nilang mid tower. So, um, yeah, just smart moves here right now for Signify. At kina mo, kanina, 3,000 ng alamang na Alfred ngayon. 1,000 na lang, less than. Less than 1,000. That means na yung kanung klasi maneuver, that's a big swing. That's, wow. That's about 2,000 to 2,500 swing parang, in favor from Signify. Parang nag uh, enchanted kingdom dito yung net worth nila, parang nag. Uh, <laughs> What's the name of that, right? Space, space Shadow? Space Shadow! Yeah, 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 yeah. Like space Shadow sila. And actually, Lionax, nice kill right there to find the Shadow Demon. Support versus support. And it's gonna be Skywrath Mage to claim the scalp of Shadow Demon. Yeah. But it looks like things are not done just yet. Morphling here lurking in the top lane, looking to get that engagement. But he's just gonna fall back to the tower, looking to deny that. But there's so many people right there oh, to chase him. No. Slytherin Crush will raid through, and he gets shackled as well. And there's so much damage coming out right now. Right now, Morphling will not survive, ladies and gentlemen. But in response to this, that's fine. Alpha Red looking to take the middle tower off of this, but I don't know if it's gonna be a worth it trade because they can one in the top lane, tier two. So tier two for tier one and a kill. Pero kilo mo on a morphling, by the way. On a morphling, the bad guy. That is not at all a good trade. I mean, this is 11-11. Yeah. Surely, yung side na ngayon ng ating laban is another side ng signify able to get the kill on the morphling and take a tier two tower. Objective wise, check para sa signify yeah. dito. Napaka onti na lang ng lamang ng morphling dito. Kanina medyo na sa tasa siya ng uh, he had a big margin, but now magkadikit na lang sila ng wind ranger in terms of net worth. That is not gonna be good at all for sa Alpha Red. Well, ayun na, Lum uh, Wind Ranger is now the most highly valued player. But oh, oh Slytherin Crush will actually miss. And <laughs> I think Rubik's gonna get away here just fine. They might actually <laughs> pursue him into the trees here. Terrorblade is here though to back him up, so nothing right there. I guess he predict. I, I don't know what happened. Over there. I think he overshot. Yeah. I siya nag over predict that was Rubik isn't too far out. Nag or lang siya. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the little bit of jokes there mula nung kay Ruby kasi nakita mo naman na nilakad siya backwards. Uh, Tapos nag-umatras na lang siya. Mm. So, yeah, good heads up din naman. Mula but, dun. everybody here for the uh, Signify side, it looks like they're going to try to take this tier 1 tower or iikuta nila. Mga, maghahanap sila ng engagement. Smoke gank is here. Nag-pressure sila ng bot para madali nilang makuha yung bottom lane. And it looks like they're looking for this pick. I don't know if they'll be able to find it though kasi na-ward sila in the counter ward is there so they will spot out this ward however rubik is caught in the trap yeah he's gonna be shackled and that's gonna be done no the power Ooh. shot not will not kill him blade mail will come out for this axe and the damage is still there they're gonna be diving him fall down is there guardian angel as well and it looks like finally axe will fall but slytherin crush is not enough so he will be taken down 
uh, that's Lardar who's fallen too. That's their tank. But uh, the buyback is there so early on. So it looks like they're gonna try to continue this uh, pressure, this team fight. So we not let team one tier one tower. I think for the better part, Signify is much prepared. Mula dun sa initiation na ng Alfredo uh, Kitsi na adaming basis na joke ni Swifty yung initiation from the axe. Actually, na outplay na naman niya once again yung axe. Kasi parang hindi. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh, oh. Money for Swifty. That's crazy. Oh, it's crazy. But yun nga, going back is para prepared nga naman dito Signify for the axe. Once it's a mama in Berserker Skull, because eventually it will. Yep. They use it so that it blade mail here si Swifty. And that means that there's no damage to Swifty overall. Tapos when he focus fire shot, he made sure that he created distance between him and the axe. Para oh my god, oh. that power shot, so much damage for that. Gyrocopter is just coming out, he's just seeing that he's half of his life. Yeah. Yeah. Call down already used though. So oh, I think this is complete disengagement from the other teams. Yeah. The one thing that I also wanted to mention is the power, the power of the Terror Braid. Para makabag push, grabe talaga. Nakita mo yung if it were not for that glyph of fortification, <laughs> the tower would be down. I agree. And now we could see na yun Terror Braid na pina mayam sa tina ba? Kanina sobrang pressure. I think Mid for the most part, must must pressure the Terror Braid surely. Kesa dun sa morphling. Yeah, yeah. And they really wanted to shut this Terror Braid down, pero you know, dahil nga sa mga nangyayari dahil nakakapag nakakabawi siya and because he was farming so consistently he's now sitting at the top but as we say the slithering oh, crush combined with the shackles yay. plus the power shot is gonna end the life of the gyrocopter no longer strong independent carry but now he's dead my man swifty I mean, kung di pa kayo believer dito sa big major ni Swifty, hindi ko nalaan kung ano, kailangan pa niyang pa patunayan dito. But overall, I think the overall, uh, sabi nating coordination or teamwork coming out for Signify, perfectly crisp. Kasi parang yung combination ng Shadow Demon with the major na dun eh. But oh my god, it looks oh, like no. a slithery crush gank is gonna happen right now. Tellerblade right beside him as the damage oh. is so strong, so much damage. And that's Morphling dead yet again. So much pressure on him. That's weird. Nang shift ba siya to to Omni? Yes. He shifted to Omni. Yes, I agree. Pero he shifted to Aji, I think. Pati pa tingin direct ng ating Morphling na mabilis ang mabilis lang. Kasi I think yung Morphling ay nandun yan. Ano sa Aji? Kasi palingit yung buhay niya imbis na palaki. Which is strange. I'm not sure actually. Pero it looks like Roshan will finally come into the hands of Signify off the back of that play. But at the same time, no, the Berserker call will miss. And it looks like they look to capitalize on this misplay right there. He's gonna be caught off guard in the call down. Call down used Mong and Ablan's My Pro Dito with that GA activated. So why did see My Pro? Pero yung Age is already secured. Blizzard gets that one. GA is still not there. Medyo nag-aabol sila dito. Low health si Blizzard. But I think he's looking for a Sunder play. Ang bilis niya maglaan dito. Ayun na nga. Sunder on the gyro. Abot ka dito. And woo, ang ganda kanilang anticipation with the power shot. But... It's not gonna be enough. Still, it's a big victory by Signify. Uh, that's pretty okay, I think, for Alpharet. They stopped them from getting okay, the Roshan. I agree. So, not, I think they're gonna be happy I with the fact that they didn't you. allow Roshan. And mm. now, Signify they can't actually, take it. No, no. I think they secured the Roshan. Oh, what? They Dyer's did secure the Roshan. Oh, Eventually. yeah. They have Aegis on Terrorblade. Sorry, my bad. I thought they didn't get it. Well, yeah. yeah. That, for me, so... <laughs> To counter now, and he's sure play Alfred. I think he's not supposed to be there. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, roll back, Tayo. Roll back the years. But oh, there's the call down. Man, so malaki dito para sa Alfred. They will they able to take down the Shadow Demon? Can they get more? BKB activated. So Jarak after just they're hitting down the Omni Knight. Omni Knight's down. So two members of Signify taken out by Alfred. This is. A good fight. Yeah, it's a good fight, and uh, props to Signify. They they're doing what a lot of Asian teams don't do, which is cut their losses. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, 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 let's just uh, let's just we have the Russian. Let's keep it for you know an important team fight <laughs> later tama, on. Tama, tama. Mag back mo na tayo chill chill lang, kasi hindi na natin masasalba tong Omni Knight sa Shadow Demon. Eh. Kaya ayon hina hina lang. If fear blade now. Para sa ating morphling, hindi na masama. Mabilis mabilis na rin. Pero ito na naman ako po! Meron pa shackle. Oh, well, oh the Berserker Skull might actually save him. And yes, he's no. gonna finally go down! That's the godlike streak ended for 
uh, for Wind Ranger, and it looks like they're going to be pursuing him. Homing missile will land through. He's just waiting for the Berserker's call. It's finally going to land right now. Still a lot of damage, and the Rubik is there to help him out, and finally he will fall. So Signify looking to get, um, looking to trade out what was lost to them. Pero Alpha Red handa sila uh, para dun. Alpha Red. I mean, for, luckily for that gyrocopter, walang angle na mahanap si Wind Ranger na pwede siya masyakil. Enough para makikos siya. Kasi the thing is, yung stun as leader in crash, hindi ganun katagal. Uh -oh. Which meant na, if he tried to walk around yung Wind Ranger, kung tinry niya umikot pa, hindi naman ganun. Makapag BKP natin, hindi na siya makapag -shakal. So he just used the power shot para, uh, the, the force fire, to at least burst sana. Burst yan, as soon as possible. And they were successful in doing so, yes. Yeah. Problem was, nandun yung uh, axe. axe. Tapos nga, nataka siya, mayroong blade mail. Yeah. It was definitely goodbye. For 1,300 gold. Ang laki nun, actually. Sobrang laki nung... That's the lot of gold that they lost. Beyond the God, one. like, nine times yung nangyari. So... 1,300 gold, that's, that's so gonna much. That's gonna bring him down, actually. One, uh, <laughs> now, Terror Blade and Morphling are sitting at the top. Exactly. Yung kanina, nakikita natin, si Wind Ranger, napakalayo, napakataas na niya. Kung ngayon, nasa gitna na lang siya. So... Oof. Another close by, parang uh, listrado dito, so both teams being resilient. 16-16 mm, na naman, 29 minutes in. Magkatapat pa rin sila, <laughs> hindi mo maawat yung dalawa, they will Radiant not give up. Scaring. But, oh! At this time, Alfred naman yung magkaroon ng mga disconnection issues. Yeah. <laughs> ano ba to? Actually, tanong ko nga, ano ba to? Home, home, ano? Home games ba to and stuff like home and away yung parang... So, ano, no, no, this is online naman, online. Yeah, I know. I'm, but what I mean to say is, the server is based in India. Yung isa, tapos the next game is uh, based in Thailand. I, I think they're both based in Southeast Asia. Okay, okay. So, no problem naman there. Because yeah. in other games, in other tournaments, you can see like one game uh, is played in like one country and another uh, game is played in another. And that causes a little bit of an issue when there's yeah. lag. Ayun. I experienced that in one of the shooter games that I cast to uh -huh. Paladins. Because uh -huh. it's always fighting Oceania and Southeast Asia. Uh -huh. Apparently, they're not on the server. In Dota, for example, it's the same. Mm -hmm. There's no lag in uh, Oceania and Southeast Asia region. Uh, actually, the Oceania server, parang in terms of ping for us, it's like Asia server. It's like uh -huh. Dubai-esque ping. Uh -huh. niya eh. uh -huh. So, 100 plus yung makikita mo sa mga ganun. So medyo malaki rin yung difference. I actually play with some friends who play in Australia. Uh -huh. Tapos yung ping namin, 200. Para oh, makakalaro sa kanya. Mahirap. Mahirap. And for FPS games, that's so much. It's so big, it's so big. Kasi <laughs> kailangan precision eh. Uh -huh. Precision. I mean, I'd say sa FPS, as a MOBAs, it's not as important to have like super good ping. But at the same time, it does have an effect kung napakataas na lang ganang ping mo. Y yung mga, uh, mga 100 sa Asia Sir, sorry, Asia Sir. That's fine, I think. It, let's just say hindi, pero you can still win with it. Yeah, yeah. Yung FPS na 100 ping ka, you can't kill anyone. Yeah. So what, what do you think is a safe, F, uh, safe lag uh, ping? 33 pa rin talaga. 33. You know, ito, funny story. Merong mga pumunta sa Pilipinas yung mga international uh -huh. na for, for Dota 2. Well, sobrang sanay nila sa mga lands na doon nagkaroon ng 15 ping ang isang computer shop. Nagreklamo pa sila. <laughs> Bakit? Ang taas ng ping 15! My goodness. Ganun oh. sila. Ganun ka-advanced yung technology sa other... Oh, alam, other... alam nyo nang gagawin mga telecom companies. Gotta step up your game para yeah, ma... Come on. Para, you know, <laughs> ma-elevate yung status ng esports. Yeah. And nakita natin, as we were talking about this, Terrorblade just destroyed the bottom tower here in the Tier 3. Wala, chill lang siya, nag, you know, bumaba na sa tower. Rabe. Even separating yung kanyang mga illusions dito. Fortunately, syempre may shotgun doon. But that was the repel. Ayun nga, alang problem dun sa mga damage is, you know, it gives them opening for a Sunderplay. But there's a Sunderplay, like we mentioned. Oh. My pro down for the count. Wala siyang buyback, parang listrado. Yeah, that's really dangerous kasi yung axe talaga yung kailangan mong pang engage in. Signify don't know what they can do here. But they have to engage right now. Exactly, that's what's gonna happen. The call down will rain true as players are falling down left and right. Terrorblade still hoping, still trying to survive here. But the power shot is taking down Morphling. He's still alive somehow. Changes to strength and there's still... Pinabanat pa rin nila siya. And the call, I mean, the rocket barrage will be chasing out that Wind Ranger, but they're gonna survive right now. And the homing missile is still gonna be chasing her in the woods. However, somehow Omni Knight will blink out. Can he get away? Do they have any stuns? But no. Easy teleport right there for the Omni Knight. 
Oh, oh. So, I don't know what the. Did were they able to take out the tier 3 tower? Because if they did, uh -oh. that was definitely a victory. So, una pa lang nakuha nila yung tier okay. 3. I okay. think they were trying to get the barracks, pero hindi. Okay. Hindi lang, yeah. So, that's the thing. Huh? Nakuha nila yung tier 3. Check na yan for Signify. Yeah. They eventually gave up the Aegis. Nag-expire kasi. So, decently fine para sa Signify. And they only lost two supports. Well, that's, that's, that's the same with the Aegis, eh. You don't even need to use it to have such a big effect on the okay. game. Because alam na ng kalaban o may ages kay, eh. so mm -hmm. kaya mag back muna tayo. Some mentality na yun darating. Eh. The fact that you have an ages alone is enough to make the opposite team think. Yep. Pero here we are. Here we can see Axe okay. lurking in the jungle. Mong magi information lang siya kama magbaka. Just takes information and immediately backs away. I think meron siyang shadow play. Huh? I think it does. Can we check the items real quick, direct? Yup, Shadow Blade. Ayun, Shadow Blade nga, tama, tama. Double initiations, which is definitely okay. Ayun, so looking at the items right now. Yeah. Um, Lapit na sa Aghanims, surely, si Swifty, yeah. so a little bit. Pero si Blizzard yan ang ating uh, pwede pag-usapan ngayon. Sobrang dami niya natin with Skadi, BKB, Manta style na rin. On the other end, si ating uh, Fearless, eh, Eagle Song pa lang, tsaka BKB, not much. Shotgun naman para kay Dog Brain on the on the Morphling. So yeah. it's not it's nothing not crazy. crazy. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Yeah, yeah, nothing crazy at 33 minutes in. I mean, sometimes you'd expect like some big ticket items at this stage, pero at this point medyo wala pa nang masyado kasi napaka dikit pa rin ng laban. 33 minutes in, 17-18 yung score. Napaka lupit ng laban natin, napaka init. Like they're so close to each other that the gold lead is just swinging back and forth from Signify to Alpha. Just, ito naman tayo. Whoever breaks free first, sa tingin ko, they're gonna win the game. Na. It's a matter of uh, snowballing lang, sa tingin ko. So, ito na. Butterfly picked up by the Gyro. This means na wala siyang buyback in the upcoming fight, I would say. So, Signify. Ano ang kanilang decision? Kasi pwede nilang i-wait out yung Roshan na, yun na th less than 3 minutes pupunta na. So, and they can use that time para mag-farm up a little bit and then take the Rosh for themselves. And this is where we sort of saw Signify falter last game. Okay. Uh, parang medyo nag-alangan sila, medyo hindi oh. oh, but as I say this, the Shackle Shot will not land. Sakto yung blink out doon ng, uh, ng Axe. And, sorry, going back to the point, Dito natin nakita mag-falter yung Signify kasi nga na you know, out experience sila, na snowball sila and medyo nag-slow down sila masyado kahit na may advantage sila I think. Uh, I'm no no, kahit patas yung laban just like now. So we have to see ngayon, it's up to Signify whether they will take the game into their own hands, whether they will take the reins of the game. Tayo so, makakaano sila. Makakalamang sila sa Alpha Red. Let's see about that. As uh, our score is 17 to 18. San libo na back side ng Alfred just like that uh, for the longest time it was on their side tapos nalipat sa Signify tapos nabalikin naman sa kanila this game is close this series in general is close yeah <laughs> there's uh, there's nothing separating these two teams right now and finally I think Alpha Red ito actually maganda yung nangyayari Alpha Red is looking to take top tier tower yeah. uh, uh, top tower and tier 1 but at the same time it's gonna be up to signify how to respond to this. Will they look for a clash or will they decide to push? Because they can just the barracks. Ngayon, eh. There's no one to contest them for this. But it looks like they're looking for a team fight. Mukhang mag respond here yung signify. I don't know if this was the right call. Because once they had the information and they did have the information on the top of the players of uh, Alpha Red, they can just get the barracks because there's no tower yung barracks. Eh. I agree. I think that they should have forced them my bottom lane. But I think they are... Uh, they don't have intel yet on uh, no, exactly kung nasa yung Alpha Red. They yeah. will give up their tier 1 tower. This means na despite Signify having all those openings, hindi pa rin sila makuha ng anything out of it. Yeah. Fortunately, there's the Roshan available for Signify. Let's yeah. see if they will get it. Yeah, and I think they might just spot it out right now. It looks like they're making their moves to secure it. Actually, all the ward control in this area, it's all Signify. <laughs> <laughs> so, tignan mo naman kung gaano karaming uh, wards na nakapala, nakapalibot dito sa lugar ng Roshan. Ang dami oh. And it looks like walang wards at all. Pero the smoke gank, the smoke of the seat is coming out right now. Oh, can it reach? I think aabot sila dito. I don't know. Oh, I don't think so. You're right. You're correct. That's the ages. Yeah, but here it is. The call down plus the Berserker's call. Will land the Shadow Demon. That's not who you want. But the Guardian Angel is following it up. Trying to keep those players alive. But in response, Rubik has one of his own. And 
Axe will actually finish off that Shadow Demon finally, oh, but it's not a good trade as Gyrocopter oh, falls down. But the Shackles land, can they see him? Yes, they know. I don't think they know where he is. No, he gets away somehow, but in the smoke, in the trees, is that Rubik. They don't want to chase him right now. So that's a good engagement there from Alpha Red, but they did lose the Gyrocopter in the end. Oh, man, that was... How, that was more than okay para signify. Yeah. The but they didn't gyro. They didn't force the buyback. They didn't ages. Yes. And uh, th they did commit the metamorphosis, but I think that's totally fine para sa nila. They're just gonna wait out the cooldown. And now let's see if Alfred will oblige to the aggression of signify this time. I think they're. I think they have an inkling of what they should do. Sa tingin ko tama yung ginagawa nila ngayon ng signify na magpush ng shove na lang ng bottom lane para put you know para baka makuha nila yung ano yung barracks yung dalawa. Kasi as we said, wala na ng tier three tower don. Yeah, medyo madali na siyang kunen if they can somehow get the right positioning. I mean, looking at terror blade, palang ang dami na yung tower damage, ang dami yung you know damage to dish out to those structures. And as you know, just like right now, this. Uh, the shrine is not long for this world. Who me? Lizards. Six. This literally right click it. By his own. At this, mga wapa sila kay sa stun yun ang ame. Ero dito on the sky match, but the there's the counter with the with the call coming out from the axe. Very low dito yung ati terror bay. Pero ita sa the center and it reactivates it on fearless. Right click to death. Pero melee siya dito. It's not gonna end well for signify. Malayo pa yung teammates nila. Pero muang nakarating na sila and the damage is still coming out. The ages will be popped. However, as Slardar is forced back, will they help him? Will they commit terror blade? Uh, still alive, gets one, gets the second somehow, and they are pulling through with this. Signify managed to come back into that team fight, and that's forced two buybacks. And Signify will be happy with that they forced all of those engagements. They exactly. did lose ages, they did lose ages, but at the same time, they forced two buybacks, and all of the players here for Signify are up, except for that Omni Knight, which they won't mind. Uh -huh. They can still keep going if they wanted to, except for maybe the fact that they have very low health. Well, they have still your Metamorphosis and Cheese and Sunder naman para dun sa ating Terror Blade. So, pwede nilang gamitin yung play na yan. But I think that they will just regen up. Para pwede naman kasi na for Signify na on the upcoming fight, play lamang sila because of the vibe. <laughs> Almost <laughs> being taken out yung barracks dun. But yun nga. Ito lang gagawin nila. Shrine up. Then sure. back to the fray. Uh, dapat lang. Sa tingin ko dapat mag-shrine sila. Back to pushing. Kasi... As we said, wala nga yung axe. And I don't think he has buyback. Um, correct me if I'm mistaken. I don't meron think siya, meron siya. Um, But still, the point still reigns true. The, the Signify still have the better uh, deal here, the better cards. The game is still in their advantage. So, ang dapat nilang gawin is force the issue. You know? <sighs> See. Well, forcing the issue, it's not an easy task para sa Alfred. Easier task, I agree. surely, para sa Signify. I dito. agree. Well, but at the same time, yung ayoko kasi mangyari para sa Signify dito. Ayoko, I don't want to see them wait for Alpha Red as they always do. Okay ka lang, pareng uh, wolf. Okay naman, laban lang. <laughs> okay. So, as I was saying, ayoko, I just don't want to see Alpha, I mean, Signify play into the hands of Alpha Red like they did last game. Okay. Kasi kanina yung nangyari, Signify was just waiting and waiting and waiting for the right opportunity hanggat sa yung Alpha Red, lagi na lang sila nag engage tas wala na steamroll na sila. Pero things are looking different kasi... 40 minutes into the game, 21-21 pa rin ang scoreline. There is still hardly any difference between these two teams except for that 5k gold advantage in those towers. But somehow still lurking in the shadows. This is actually very dangerous for Windranger. Ah, kasi dalawa rin yung nandito at saka maraming tao dito for Alpha Red. And thankfully so, hindi siya magiging aggressive mm, doon. Hindi siya nagkumil. Hindi siya nadala. Hindi siya nadala. This time, meron siya ng mga tropa. So pwede na to, surely. Oh, Nandun na yung rest back niya. Pwede na siyang sumabak. And I don't know if they will do it. Magu magma map control lang sila. Do have the map control as you mentioned? Well, I think it signify. Now, just looking for more opportunities. Uh, I think medyo. Hindi ko na gusto na nagwait sila na two, no, like one or two more minutes, cause maybe they're just waiting for this specific item MKB. But overall, it should have been more aggressive, I would say. Too careful on my own, uh, you know, for my own taste. But that just that's just me. Paring Nostrado. I think this is generally the right thing to do. It's just that sign lang opportunity nila. No, actually, you know what? I'm gonna agree with you. Because 
we've seen it time and time again happening na teams will give away the advantage dahil sa matagal silang nag-iintay or sa masyadong safe sila na pa-play and that's what you don't want to do from Signify but it looks like finally they said the IGL finally decided okay tama na let's go let's take this barracks and it looks like it's gonna fall right here they're trying to somehow attenuate the damage but Terrorblade is doing so much damage fallback will come out but is it enough I think Terrorblade is just he's staying and he's trying to do it all. May Lotus Orb dito po sa counter stun. There is the defensive disruption and Barracks down just like that. Yeah, and it looks like the engagement will finally break out here. Guardian Angel will be popped. And Terrorblade looks to continue that fight, bringing down Axe so much. And that's a lot of damage. It's continuing oh. and Rubik will fall as well. Two buybacks now coming out. Can they trade these kills? Can they follow up? I don't know. Uh, very dangerous situation. Signify definitely coming out on, on top of that. And it looks like they're trying to get this next tower as well. They're trying to get that tier 3, but it looks like Metamorphosis will finally fade. But the Illusion's already still doing so much damage here onto that Rubik. He might just fall again. It might be a dieback, but as this is happening, it looks like finally Terror Blade will know! The Sunder will bring him back to full HP and he's gonna continue his reign of terror with the Blades of Terror that oh, he has. Yeah. And suddenly... Actually, that's just the cheese. The Sunder was already used. Mystic Fair used as well. There's a good bit counter for us, Alfred and Dito. Just waiting. Blizzard with melee form. Try niya maglang dito. Trang power play na lang. The right click lang niya. Literally, yung gyro after gyro. He's not even dodging that attack. Wala dun sa Warflake with the Manta dodge. And Blizzard, he's still... All the regen! Oh, Dogbrain gets back to being in a Wobbly Knight and he survives. Thankfully for Alfred, they will survive the night. Yeah. But they still lost so much there. Ang laki ng ang laki ng ayon talo nila. They lost the barracks, the two barracks. They lost. They almost lost the mid tower, and they lost three people, including two buybacks. Exactly. And the only thing that Signify gave up is one kill onto that Terror Blade and one kill onto that Wind Ranger. Granted, those are your two carries, but if I were Signify, I'd take that trade any day. Ah, it's the. Uh, most positive trade mo kawan nila mi buyback sin kasi hindi mo may babalik yung barracks hindi mo may babalik yan oh tama heroes they respawn they respawn may buyback pa rin actually they don't even need to buy back even though there's one minute on the clock they can just wait kasi alam nila napakalaki na kinuha nila ng advantage god and so now signify the ball is in their court they just need to land a slam dunk in order to finish this game and uh, magle lebron sila <laughs> To, to close out this game. To close out this game. So, malapit na yung third Roshan. And I think it's the best Roshan. Kasi meron siyang Refresher Shard. Yeah. It's Who do you think should get that Refresher Shard? I'm looking at Omni Knight here for that Guardian. Uh, I'm actually looking at Terror Blade. Double BKBs, double ultimate. Metamorphosis. <coughs> Oo nga, actually. Yeah, double. Yeah, well, I said ultimate, pero yung, yung kasi Metamorphosis almost That's basically ultimate. basically his ultimate. Kasi yeah. may, tagal ng cooldown. Cool down, eh. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, but I, also, yeah, double thunder. <laughs> Get brought down twice, just take their HP. Yep. Big deal, yun. So, th that's gonna be a big deal. Let's see how they contest it. Alpha Red cannot give up this Roshan. Yep. They cannot. They have to contest it. They have to fight it if they yeah, want to know. stand the chance of winning this game. Because ngayon, lumalamang nat, lumalamang ang, uh, ang signify dito. And that's what they're doing. Let's see. Na medyo mo mo sila around the vicinity of the Roshan because they know na yung third Roshan is the most explosive one para sa kanilang uh, para sa kanilang kalaban so yeah. they can't give it away for free surely will put up a fight as they initiate dito with a blink on dog brain at saka mukhang nagsusubukan lang tila sila dito sa top lane and feeling each other out mm -hmm. in a in a you know totally tense non homo erotic way uh, <laughs> They're just feeling each other out. Just feeling each other They're just out. like two boxers that are jab jab lang. Oh, parang, you know, lang. Tama, tama. Tama, poke poke lang. Or two wrestlers that are like, yeah, What? What? No, no, <laughs> no. Because in wrestling, that's what you do. You get two sweaty men and then you just wrestle each other in a ring. Well, you know. Yeah. That's <laughs> nothing much. I'm not gonna say anything about that. Then we'll make clash this again. Delete it. I'm a shadow demon. Not a good shaka, but we'll amount to nothing for signify. As this is a 4 versus 5 situation, yeah. see who will be happy to engage on, upon the enemy. Can Alpha Red take this Russian in response? It's still risky. Mm -hmm. It's still really risky because Shadow Demon lang ang nawala. But I don't know. We we'd never really know until it comes down to it. Morphling is looking good right now. Finally, he's gotten his um, Ethereal Blade and his uh, Manta Style and Blink Dagger. So that's going to be a big deal. Oh. Being back to the morphling, but then you can see my illusions. Also, hits like a truck, and also, but then you can reflection. 
para sa kanyang kalaban. Yeah. And, and here, metamorphosis, yes. And again, uh, we're gonna see another smoke. Uh, smoke of the seed coming out. Will oh, they catch no. someone out? Windrager is caught out. He's gonna be bursted down immediately. That's the kill that they were looking for to take Roshan potentially. But will she buy back? No, it looks like Signify looking to get back into this fight. Oh, look nice at the aggress. Nice slithering crush. Gets three somehow. And the aggression is still growing forward, drawing longer. Windranger back into this fight. She's got the shackle shot. She's gonna get that power shot shoot soon. Guardian Angel will rain through though. However, again, Shadow Demon will fall. But, oh, Slithering Crush again gets two. Will they continue off this? Ang layo ng range dito ng, tao, ng Terror Blade. And he's gonna get two with that. That's a nice double kill to find somehow. Three people right now down. Four people right now are down for the Alpha Red side. And it's only uh, Morphling left standing. So. But now they spot out the Morphling. Oh, my good shotgun turn around. There's the buy. Wala sa Gyrocopter. But I think this is the Morphling down. No way to attribute shift that na holy shot while he was under that metamor under the terror blade. I mean, triple by Bakula sa Alfred Dito is trying to uh, try to defend the top lane. I think this is already a one fight for Signify because yeah. they can take the Roshan surely. Yeah, they should take this Roshan and end the game. Yeah. They they need to not choke. Yeah, yeah. And they also will get the refresher shot if ever. Yeah, and that's a big deal. Like they. As long as Makwan nilang Roshan ito, atas magplay sila ng matali. They play smart. The game should be there. So, yun, yeah, Aegis sa Windrager dahil wala siyang buyback. Cheese, I think, also dun sa Windrager. But, Refresher Shard definitely belong sa isang more sa ating Morphling. Momentarily, bibigay nila, surely. Magkalapit siguro. And then, if you activate the Metamorphosis, yeah, track and roll to the world naman para sa Signify. And it looks like finally the the final push may come in here for Signify. As we said nga, yung unang team na, the, the first team that can break away is the team that I think will win this game and it looks like it's gonna be the case but all five members now are up for Alpha Red will they contest or will they fight Malayu pa si Shadow Demon dito but I don't know if that's gonna be an issue they're trying to go for that shrine I think in response little bit of consolation but I think they should be trying to take care of more towers now yeah, but they're playing safe I mean Signify some best person na nalala dito sa ating laro sa ating, uh, tong, sa ating group stage para illustrado so tingin ko yung Signify they just don't wanna let it slip away yeah it's fine, totally. Parang it's a decent play na mag wait ka na lang na metamorphosis mo then fight when you have better arsenal versus your opponents. It's also one thing to be aggressive, like, you know, if you know the advantage na na meron ka, pwede ka na mag aggressive surely. But it feels like signify, ang kanilang uh, gusto gawin dito is just to play it really safely. Yeah, siguro siya shove muna nila yung lanes nila as what they're doing now and just just poke, poke away at the opponent kasi may power shot naman sila in order to sort of just see if they can get someone low enough to engage on and then Terrorblade all the while is gonna take that tower damage so sobrang babawasan na yung mga taong saka ang layo ng range niya layo ng range 300 range with of course yung mga illusions niya rin dito called out used I don't think it matters too much I don't know if we're gonna be seeing a team fight break out here but we need to if you are alpha red things are looking grim for them as the tier 3 tower has just fallen tignan natin kung signify will they push the issue Will they try to go for these barracks? And I think they should. They do have everything in their arsenal that they need. And oh my Whoa. god, the damage is right there. So much from that Terror Blade to bring down that Rubik to half HP. But it is being used against him. He himself is brought down to half HP. Oh my goodness. And he has no more mana. So, but I wouldn't worry so much because he does have that refresher, uh, refresher shard. Although a big problem game para kay Blizzard is wala na mana. You mentioned this before. I think kaya niya mag region up dito. Say, it's quite needed. To, uh, to use his metamorphosis once again. Fortune. They took the tier 3 tower, they'll be happy with it. Signify. They're gonna play it safe. Yeah. I, I think it's a little bit too safe. I, I think I'm gonna agree with what you said earlier. At this point, because you have so much in your arsenal to take risks. Eh? And that may be what you need to do here for Alpha Red. Because all it takes is one mistake for Alpha Red to come back into this game. All it takes is for Alpha Red to. Uh, take the initiative and bring the game to their advantage. Pero tignan natin, mukhang na-choke out sila, mukhang nasa base sila ngayon. They are unable to do anything, to find any footing into this game. Kasi ngayon, napaka-dominating na nang Signify. How can they find it? Ito na naman. They can wait for another minute para makakuha nung uh, uh, metamorphosis na yun. Pero I think ang problem dun is mawala na rin yung ages. So ito, lalaban na rin sila. They have like a good... I would say 50 seconds or so para sa ages, judging from the timer of the Roshan. And let's see kung makakahanap sila ng any opening. They smoke up 
Pero sabi dito ng Alfred, hug muna natin mga tore natin. Tama yung ginagawa ng Alfred dito. Wala munang magpapapitas kasi pag may napitas, GG na yun. So I think they're doing the right thing. I mean, the only person that's really far out is Axe. Actually, that's... Yeah, he should go back soon because they know that they're expecting a push. And here we are going to the late stages of the game. 51 minutes na naman tayo, but oh my god! Grabe ng damage ng Morphling Illusions pa lang yun. Like I mentioned, Morphling Illusions pa lang yun. Pero napakasakit na ng damage as on top. There's a little bit of push. Kami nga pang signify that they didn't finish it. The range of Pyrax down. Oh no, he the call down. The Berserker Skull does not land, and the BKB will be popped right now. Terrorblade still doing so much damage, even though he's alone, even though he's in the front. But Guardian Angel will be popped right now, and he's gonna be brought oh. down as well. But that's a nice Guardian Angel to save Skyrath Mage. No, he's gonna be falling down in response. However, the tower push is still coming through. They are trying to take this next barracks, and I think it, it will fall at the moment. There's still one down. They need to engage, they need to do something now. It looks like it will finally be the case. Rubik looks like he's gonna get caught off guard. Morphling is super low, but he's looking to continue that damage. What a burst from him, but no, it's gonna be Rubik to fall. Buyback is available, and the Byrax will finally fall. Now, this is a great opportunity for Signify to continue what they're doing. Counter buyback dito, pero yung uh, opinion lanes a mid. Naturally, nag push up because of the double siege creep coming out from the Radiant and Signify. They don't have that anymore. This is a Shadow Demon, but they'll just use this disruption this time. Blizzard with the Repel na rin. Just hitting down the towers. Just look at the damage from this monsters of uh, Terror Blade. Patay na dito yung Byrax. And that's Mega Clips. Then the oh, Sunder that it oh, 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 oh. Fearless Fearless has the back up. And he did the chance. No chance to survive for that gyrocopter. And it's not done just yet. They're still chasing. Caught in between a rock and hard place. They are backed against the wall. So now Alpha Red now needs to do something. They do somehow manage to find one. But I don't know if it's enough. They've somehow forced them back at the moment. But they are bleeding. They are hurting so bad. Because look at the tower. Look at the lagay ng base dito ng Alfred wala na silang mga barracks or towers it's just a matter of time i think here this is definitely mega sad fortunately para sa signify nakakuha nga naman sila ng kill doon sa ating uh, terror blade so gucci yan for uh, for the defense but how can you defend without the gyrocopter 78 seconds wala kayong flak cannon it's not gonna be easy at all for us at for it. Fortunately, Terrorblade is down, and yep. that's the pushing potential. Yep. So, medyo may chance sila mag recover dito, pero pahira apan talaga to eh. I mean, the thing is, when oh Terror. No. Oh no, this is really bad. Oh, the Shackle Shot will land, and as well as the Slytherin Crush, it will come out. Doesn't even need to land. Swifty. Uh -huh. Crazy game for me. Ang ganda ng performance niya dito sa game na yun. Siya talaga yung sa tingin ko, ah. MVP of this game. 16 3 and 15. Man. Wow. So much out there. So, so much. Highlight plays dito mula sa ating, sa ating uh, Wind Ranger. Yeah. Really deserving the MVP award, if uh, ever. Kasi sa tingin ko siya talaga yung facilitator kung siya ba't sila nanaloy. Every time there was an opening for him, every time there was a gank ready, nandun si Wind Ranger para, ano, para makahanap ng isang killer, ng isang power shot. And lagi siyang tumatama. So, what can you do if this Wind Ranger is just going and playing out of his mind? Finally, everybody coming up right now for Signify. Axe is dead. 50 more seconds. I don't think he has buyback. In fact, he does not. So this is the chance. This is when Signify needs to end this game, and they need to do it now. Yep. This is definitely an opening. Four versus five. Tapos may Mega Spy kasama. Yung mga creeps na yun, medyo masakit na rin talaga. Kahit pag gumaampas sila. And Cars Blizzard, mayroon siyang metamorphosis if ever he wants to use it. Sana ang angula nila dito. Dito sa may bandang gitna, actually. Yung nga, mayroong hinamit dito na disruption and even just the illusions oh able God. to take out the tower but so sobrang layo yung distance sa pag-atake dito ni Terrorblade this looks really possible for Alfred to defend yeah, parang naging sniper na lang yung tower Terrorblade dito how can you even get close to him if you get close to him get him low he's just gonna sunder you and finally the call down will come out as well as the Guardian Angel but it looks like they're gonna go in for this engagement right now Skyrath Mage will fall they get the second one onto Rubik and it looks like it's gonna be GG push here right now for Signify they're gonna be coming back into this the tower dive is all still still there can they get any kills from within the fountain they're no. looking the greedy but no it's gonna be the end alpha red will fall to signify and that's gonna be one 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 for signify finally getting another score scoreboard pero sila pa rin naman ang nasa pinababa ng ating food chain dito sa FPGL they still need to win but that is definitely a big confidence boost yeah I mean the fact that you can take down alpha red who's at the top mm -hmm. I mean that's that's what you want na kahit natalo kayo sa first game nag comeback kayo sa second game 
that's gonna make you think oh sige kaya natin to kaya, kaya natin lumaban na kahit magaling yung let's say Alfred kahit magaling yung ibang teams may laban pa rin tayo yeah. that was the first series mga chong ang ating susunod series is actually Execration versus Neon Atomic Woo! yun malupit na laban yun kaya Malinit. everybody sit right where you are and yeah. we've got a banger of a game right coming up next yeah. or maybe pwede nakikuha na nyo mga pagkain para okay. sa upcoming na laban natin ready na sila magkape-kape muna yep. tayo we'll have a short 